1 Kings chapter 13 Just then, as Yeravam was standing by the altar to burn incense, a man of God came out of Yehuda, directed to be at El by a word from Adonai. And by the word from Adonai, he cried out against the altar, 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 here's what Adonai says. A son will be born to the house of David. His name will be Yoshiyahu. And on you, he will sacrifice the Kohanim of the high places who burnt incense on you. They will burn human bones on you. That same day, he also gave a sign. Here is the sign which Adonai has decreed. The altar will be split apart, and ashes on it will be scattered about. When the king heard what the man of God said, how he denounced the altar in Viet El, Yoravam took his hand away from the altar and said, Seize him. But his hand, the one he had stretched out against him, shriveled up so that he could not draw it back to himself. Also the altar was split apart, and the ashes scattered from the altar, according to the sign which the man of God had given by the word of Adonai. The king then responded to the man of God, Ask now the favor of Adonai your God, he said, and pray for me, that my hand will be restored to me. The man of God prayed to Adonai, and the king's hand was restored to him, and became as it had been before. The king then said to the man of God, Come home with me and refresh yourself, and I will give you a reward. But the man of God replied to the king, Even if you gave me half your household, I will not accept your hospitality, nor will I eat food or drink water in this place, for this is the order I received through the word of Adonai. Don't eat food or drink water, and don't return by the road you took when you came. So he went another way and did not return by the road by which he had come to Viet El. Now there lived an old prophet in Viet El, and one of his sons came and told him all the things that the man of God had done that day in Viet El, and also they told their father what he had said to the king. Their father asked them, Which way did he go? For his sons had seen what the road of man, what road the man of God from Yehuda had taken. He then said to his sons, Saddle the donkey for me. So they saddled the donkey for him, and riding on it, he went after the man of God. He found him sitting under a pistachio tree and said to him, Are you the man of God who came from Yehuda? He answered, I am. Then he said to him, Come home with me and eat some food. He replied, I cannot return with you or partake of your hospitality, nor will I eat food or drink water with you in this place. Because it was said to me by the word of Adonai, You are not to eat food or drink water there, and you are not to go back by the way you came. The other said to him, I too am a prophet, just like you. And an angel spoke to me by the word of Adonai and said, Bring him back with you to your house, so that he can eat food and drink water. But he was lying to him. So he went back with him and did not and did eat food and drink water in his house. As they were sitting at the table, the word of Adonai came to the prophet who had brought him back, and he cried to the man of God who had come from Yehuda. Here is what Adonai says, Since you rebelled against the word of Adonai, and didn't obey the mitzvah Adonai your God gave you, but came back and ate food and drank water in the place where he warned you not to eat food or drink water. Your corpse will not arrive at the tomb of your ancestors. After he had eaten food and drunk, he sat out the donkey for the prophet he had brought back. But after he had gone, a lion encountered the man of God on the road and killed him. His corpse lay there in the road with the donkey and the lion standing next to it. In time, people passed by and saw the corpse lying in the road with the lion standing next to it, and they came and told about it in the city where the old prophet lived. When the prophet who had brought him back from the road heard about it, he said, It is the man of God who rebelled against the word of Adonai. This is why Adonai handed him over to the lion to tear him to pieces and kill him. In keeping with the word, Adonai spoke to him. To his sons he said, Saddle the donkey for me, and they saddled it. He went and found his corpse lying in the road, with the donkey and the lion standing next to the corpse. The lion had neither eaten the corpse nor attacked the donkey. The prophet picked up the corpse of the man of God, laid it on the donkey, and brought it back to the city in which he lived, he, to mourn and bury him. He laid the corpse in his own burial cave, and they mourned him. O oh, my brother, after burying him, he said to his sons, When I die, put me in the burial cave where the man of God is buried. Lay my bones next to his bones. For the thing he cried by the word of Adonai against the altar in Viet El, and against all the temples on the high places near the cities of Shimron will surely happen. After this, Yoram did not turn back from his evil way, but continued appointing Kohanim, priests, for the high places from among all the people. He consecrated anyone who wanted to be a Kohen of the high places. This brought sin to the house of Yoram that would eventually cut it off and destroy it from the face of the earth.